classification of the tiger by kscience.com. We're going to use the Linnaean classification system to determine the taxonomy and then the binomial name of the tiger. So which domain does the tiger belong to? Well, it has a nucleus in all its cells, so it's a eukaryote. So this bacterial cell does not have a nucleus, therefore it is not a eukaryote. So we can get rid of this bacteria. So which kingdom does the tiger belong to? Well, there are four kingdoms, animal, plant, protist, and fungi. It belongs to the animal kingdom because the cells have a nucleus. It's heterotrophic because it eats. They're multicellular and tigers have no chloroplast and they have no cell walls. So it's an animal. So we can get rid of the fungi, which is the mushroom, the rose, which is the plant, and the oak tree, which is also a plant. Which phylum does the tiger belong to? Well, it has a backbone, so it belongs to the phylum Chordata. Anything belonging to the phylum Chordata has a backbone. So that means we can get rid of the following organisms, the worm and the ant, because they don't have a backbone and they're not part of the phylum Chordata. So what class does the tiger belong to? Well, tigers are mammal because they give birth to live young, have hair or fur, Mammal mothers nurse their young with milk, and mammals are warm-blooded. So which of these animals are not mammals? That will be the goldfish, which is a fish, the frog, which is an amphibian, and the snake, which is a reptile. So which order does the tiger belong to? Well, the tiger is a carnivore, which means it eats meat as its main source in its diet. So that means the human, the rat, and the cow are not carnivores, so we can get rid of them. So the remaining animals all belong to the same order. They're all carnivores. What family does the tiger belong to? The tiger is a feline because it's got retractable claws. Whereas the bear does not have retractable claws. So that means we can get rid of the bear because it's not a feline because its claws do not retract like a cat's do. So the lion, the tiger and the domestic house cat all belong to the same order. They're all felines. So what genus does the tiger belong to? Well, it belongs to the genus Panthera. This is because it roars. So the lion and the tiger both roar. That means they belong to the same genus. The house cat doesn't roar. So that's not in the same genus as the tiger and the lion. So tiger and the lion both belong to the same genus. They're both eukaryotes, they're both animals, they both have a backbone, they're both mammals, they're both carnivores, they both have retractable claws, so they're felines, they both roar, so they belong to the genus Panthera, but their species are different. So the tiger is called Panthera leo, which is its binomial name, Panthera leo. Panthera being the genus and leo being the species. Panthera being uppercase, leo being lowercase l. And the binomial name for the tiger is Panthera tigris. Panthera, capital P, being its genus, tigris being its species, with a lowercase t. So you've got the lion and the tiger. The lion is Panthera leo, and the tiger is Panthera tigris. And they are two different species.